In this video, we are going to solve problem on centrifugal pump where we will calculate when angulite inlet work done by impeller on water per second and manometric efficiency. So the question is given as a centrifugal pump having outer diameter equal to 2 times the inner diameter and running at 1000 rpm work against a total head of 40 meter. The velocity of flow through impeller is constant and equal to 2.5 meter per second. The vanes are set back at an angle of 40 degree at outlet if the outer diameter of impeller is 500 mm and width at outlet is 50 mm. Determine when angle at inlet work done by impeller on water per second and manometric efficiency. To solve this problem, first I will write down the given data provided. Wherein problem, they have mentioned that capital D2 that is outer diameter of impeller is 2 times of inner diameter that is 2 into d1 and impeller running at 1000 rpm that is n equal to 1000 your manometric head hm is given as 40 meter the velocity of flow through impeller is constant that is vf1 equal to vf2 which is given as 2.5 meter per second the vane angle at outlet is given as 40 degree and outer diameter of impeller is 500 mm which is equals to 0.5 meter and width at outlet is 50 mm that is equal to 0 0.05 meter. In this problem, first we want to calculate when angle at inlet that is theta and to calculate theta, I will use trigonometric ratio of tan theta which is opposite side vf1 divided by adjacent side u1 and in problem, the velocity of flow at inlet and outlet is given as 2.5 meter per second and u1 we can calculate from the formula that is pi d1n by 60 where d1 is half of d2 and d2 is given in problem as 0.5 meter and rotational speed of impeller capital N is given as 1000 rpm so we substitute all these values and by calculating this small u1 we got as 13.09 meter per second and with the help of u1 and vf1 I will get when angle at inlet equal to 10.81 degree next we want to calculate work done by impeller on water per second which is given by formula that is work done per second equal to rho q into vw2 into u2 where u2 we can calculate by the formula that is pi d2n by 60 where d2 is given in problem as 0.5 meter and capital N equal to 1000 rpm so by calculating this we will get u2 as 26.18 meter per second and VW2 we can calculate from trigonometric ratio of tan phi which is equals to opposite side VF2 divided by adjacent side U2 minus VW2 because angle phi is given in problem as 40 degree and VF2 also given in problem as 2.5 meter per second and U2 we have already calculated as 26.18 meter per second so by putting all these values we can calculate VW2 as 23.2 meter per second. So from here we will get VW2. Now discharge capital Q is given by formula that is pi d2b2 into vf2 and here all the values are given. So by putting all these values we can calculate discharge as 0.1963 meter cube per second. So here I will substitute the values of VW2, u2 and discharge capital Q in work done formula. A density of water rho is 1000. So by calculating this, we will get work done by impeller on water per second equal to 119.23 kW. Now next we want to calculate manometric efficiency which is given by formula that is manometric head HM divided by head imparted by impeller that is VW2 into U2 divided by small g. Here manometric head is given in problem as 40 meter and VW2 and U2 we have already calculated and small g is 9.81 so by calculating this we will get manometric efficiency as 64.6% 